Okay, so I bought a microphone. <laughs> well, let's uh, see if I can cope with post commentary on this arena run in custom packs. Um, I love Chinchilla. It's just such a flexible unit and probably the best tier one they added, in my opinion. I don't, I don't like buying Otter right at the start when everything on board is going to be sold. Um, but I've got into trouble so many times recently by freezing otters in the shop to try and be greedy and use them on tier threes. So I've, I just bought it this time. And we got away with a draw in one of those games, which was lucky because when you buy baby duck or duckling, you almost always lose the early rounds. Again, I'm thinking about keeping hold of otter, but I give in and just buy it and this is why chinchilla is so good it seemed like we didn't have enough gold there but you can just sell you're only sacrificing one stat and then you can roll and there's the, the duckling for the level up and this guy's running a four squad with a snail so we should be okay yep And I'm going to level up on turn four, which I don't normally do, but there's Clownfish, which is like the jackpot. I can't imagine it's going to stay level uh, tier three much longer. But then I make a mistake here because I should move the Chinchilla one space forward and then it will get the Blobfish uh, level up and the Clownfish will buff it. But I, th I don't know if it would have saved me in this game. There are so many horse teams in custom packs, I don't know why, but they often get the early wins. So another clownfish, so definitely want to be greedy here, get rid of otter, get clownfish in, capybara as well. The whole premise of this run was to try and get four or more of a kind in uh, in the team without using chicken because uh, it feels like almost every time I go for one of these challenges it's can we get a chicken game uh, and there's plenty more chicken games recorded I just haven't uploaded them yet but I wanted to try and mix it up so capybara is going to be important buffing up the shop so that when we get the units in their health is higher their stats are higher and and then Clownfish is going to stack buffs on top. So get lucky here with an instant Tamarin on the next roll. And I'm just rolling for more Clownfish, more Tamarins, more Blobfish. Ideally I would have wanted to have two, a level 2 Blobfish um, so that the whichever tier 6 spawns would be able to level up immediately, but I only got one in this run so I just decided to use it here. Now we get another clownfish in the shop which means this tamarind is going to go ballistic when it gets uh, leveled up here. 7, 8 and it goes to 13, 14 which is just ridiculous. An eagle, absolutely perfect, turn 7 I'm going to pill it next turn and whatever I get is going to be the focus of the run. A lot of the time when going for these four of a kind, five of a kind runs, the problem is not finding enough of the same unit. So getting the tier six on turn eight gives a head start. And it is reindeer, which you can probably guess from the thumbnail of the video. Capybara, I was thinking about selling it here, but I didn't want the zebra buffs to go on to the, 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 the lightweight clownfish. And buy a can so that any reindeer in the shop or buff just that little bit more. Reindeer base stats kind of underwhelming, but with the melon, it actually does something in that battle. One of the problems with reindeer is that you can't really usefully put equipment on it. Because normally if you want a 6-4 at the, at the front, you would want to put steak or chili or something on it. So that actually does some does some damage, but because the melon will overwrite it, it's 
it's not so great. Not quite enough attack with the double attack there. And I thought I was going to win this, but this gunk had lemon and I didn't notice it. But another great shop, capybara level up, juicy buff from the clownfish, and clownfish is almost going to be level 3. So the second tamarin is going to get an even bigger buff. I was going to freeze can there, but I decided to go for chocolate and get it on the next roll, which is perfect. Lobster. The capybara will probably go as soon as I find the next reindeer. And then the tamarin stats will just get pumped into that reindeer and it will be the caddy until we can find some more. I think I was a little bit lucky with some of these opponents in terms of the, the stats that they had. For turn 10 that was and that team didn't seem too great. But then again when you've got the clownfish, this the stats, oh yes. Reindeer on level up, which is perfect. Now Capybara can go get lobster in. When I'm ready, I'm, at this point I'm I'm panicking that I'm going to screw it up. Freeze reindeer, roll once, sell, and get a huge buff. 28-22, but with the free melon armor is incredible. And then it gets the additional lobster buff. I'm, I'm really taking my time on some of these turns because I'm I'm worried that I'm going to make a mistake. But you can see just the strength there cleaning up that double penguin team with very little difficulty. Another buy sell uh, zebra and it lands on the tamarind which is great. I'm thinking about mammoth pill here. I don't know if maybe I should have kept the slot unfrozen in hopes of finding more reindeer, or but in the end, you had, I had to buy something. Sizable team again, but the, the reindeer melon just comes in so clutch. It doesn't even reach the tamarind. I probably, I could have sold Mammoth here and bought that Tamarin because there, there's going to be, I'm sure there's going to be more. Or maybe it's not this turn. Now oh, there we go. Another double. That would have been, that could have been another huge Tamarin to sell into Reindeer. But luckily I get it on the second last roll. So those two reindeer in the center now are really sizable core with the double melon and weakness doesn't matter because we just overwrite it ourselves. So on nine wins, I really want to get one more. So this is just a roll turn. I'm just going to roll. I get the pill for the mammoth. I'm just going to keep rolling, try and find another reindeer and I get triple hamster which uh, I wasn't really sure what to do about it, but if I pill the mammoth and then buy the hamster, that gives me two free rolls and I find another reindeer. But I'm one gold short, so I can't quite get it in yet. But we've still got two lies intact, so I can afford to lose this next one. There's so many elephant teams in customs, it's crazy. Unfortunately, the level 3 peacock's going to blow right through the reindeer's melon, and then the dragonfly has melon at the end, and it's a trade for a draw. But we're still alive, so that's, that's something. Now, I'm not sure if this is a mistake or not. I probably shouldn't have done that there. I probably should have kept... I should I put it should have put the chocolate on one of the bigger reindeer because I want the level the ability the melon to activate twice on a on a larger uh, unit and you can see the problem here 
that this team, uh, to be honest, I was never going to beat this team, but they had double... I mean, this is so sweaty, it's unreal. They had double uh, Scorpion 1-up, which would kill any uh, level 1 reindeer, but the level 2 reindeer, it would have chunked through it, but uh, it wouldn't have mattered because they had the huge Dodo Rooster in the back, plus uh, Spinosaurus. And here I'm just hoping that the, the melon on Clownfish will be enough. Um, what team am I going to face? And of course, it's a Vulture team. But for a second, I'm actually thinking, wait a minute, with the melon here, I can just about survive. But no, the final snipe really needed. If I'd had two level two reindeer, that would have been enough, but didn't quite do it. 